When the pH is 7, then it's a case where the sample is neither acids nor base. But less than 7, it's an acid, we say. More than 7, it's a base all the way. The last couple of videos were all about pH and how we measure and how we calculate pH. And this video is no different. We're going to focus on how we actually measure or calculate pH in this example. And first I want to go over again what pH actually is. So pH stands for the log of the concentration of hydrogen ions. And we calculate that by having the minus log of the concentration of hydrogen ions. We have that minus to make sure that the actual result is positive because minus times minus is positive. So that minus will make the pH at the end positive. The reason why we use that pH is because obviously if you, for example, if we talk about only about hydrogen concentrations, let's say we have 0 0.0000000033. One, so this will be a, this will be equal to a pH. So this is, if this is our concentration of hydrogen ions, that this would equal to a pH of Nine. There's eight zeros and a one, so that would be a pH of nine. And if I were to, if you, if I were to tell you this number, if I always had to tell you this number, that would be harder to visualize than if I just say a pH of nine. So with that pH, what that allows us to do is it allows us to give us one number, nine or a ten or a eight, which is a lot easier to sort of work with than having these tiny numbers. But what this does is it converts a tiny number into a normal rational number, such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, or 14. But what you should again remember is that if we go from 8 to 9, what that in effect means is that 9 would mean 0 0.0000000001. So now we have, instead of having, with 8, we had 7 zeros and a 1. With 9, we have 8 zeros and a 1. So that is an increase, a tenfold decrease. Right? So going from pH of 8 to pH of 9 is a tenfold decrease in hydrogen concentration, hydrogen ion concentration. So these numbers are important. They allow us to simplify the concept of hydrogen concentration. But what you should definitely remember is that if we go from 8 to 9, for example, 8 has 10 times more hydrogen concentration than 9 does. 9 has 10 times more than 10 does. What you also should remember is the lower the pH, the higher the ion, hydrogen ion concentration. Right? Because using that formula will make a high number into a low pH. Uh, sorry, it will make, a, will make a low pH equal to a high concentration of ions. Whereas a high pH will be equal to a low concentration of ions. And so the more zeros there are, the higher the pH, the less zeros there are, the, the lower the pH. That's also important because acids have a low pH. The reason why is because they have a high iron, hydrogen ion concentration. The actual syllabus dot point says process information from secondary sources to calculate the pH of strong and weak acids. So in this case, you might be given questions to do with only with strong and weak acids for that dot point. I'm going to go over a couple of ones. But yeah, these are similar to what we've done in the past already. So we'll go over a couple of examples. Right, so first one is, what is the hydrogen ion concentration of an acid, the pH of 2.6? So now we have the pH, we want to get the hydrogen ion concentration. Remember, this formula wouldn't, directly wouldn't allow us to get that. So the pH formula was pH equals minus log to the, the hydrogen concentration. But if we change it around, if we reverse it around, we can get the hydrogen concentration equals 10 to power of minus the pH. So that's how we can get our hydrogen concentration. Right? So if we put 10 to power of minus the pH into a calculator, so if we put our pH of 2.6, minus 2.6, we get the hydrogen concentration. So 10 to power of minus 2.6. Point six, and what does that give us? Actually, I should do it really quickly on my calculator. Ten to the power of minus two point six equals zero point zero zero two five. About two point zero point zero two six. So the hydrogen ion concentration is zero point zero two six moles. 
per liter. And so in this case, we go. We have the pH given, and we want to get the hydrogen ion concentration. In this case, we would use that formula. If we have the hydrogen ion concentration, but we want the pH, we will use that formula. And that's the first question. The other question is similar but a bit different. It says, what is the pH of a solution where one mole per liter of hydrochloric acid and 0 0.01 mole per liter of sodium hydroxide were added? In this case, because remember, sodium hydroxide, what it will do is sodium hydroxide will neutralize any acid. So any sodium hydroxide, because that's a strong base, any sodium hydroxide that we add will directly take away from the hydrogen concentration. So that means if we have one mole at the beginning, to begin with, we have one mole of hydrochloric acid, and that one mole of hydrochloric acid is the same as one mole, so one mole of hydrochloric acid is the same as one mole of our hydrogen ions. So we have one mole of, of hydrogen ions, but we add to that, we add 0 0.01 mole of sodium hydroxide. So we add 0 0.001 of sodium hydroxide, which equals to minus 0 0.001 concentration of hydrogen ions, because it'll take away from that concentration. So what we want to do if we want to get the pH is we have one, because we have one mole of hydrogen ions, minus 0 0.001, that's how, we, how much we actually have. And that will give us 0 0.99. I'm going to actually double check that that should be 0 0.09. 1 minus 0 0.001 0 0.009. Right? So that's our actual um, concentration of hydrogen ions. And then what we could do is we put that into our formula. So once we have that, we put that into our pH formula. So pH equals minus log of the hydrogen ion concentration. And that's what we calculate right here. So our hydrogen ion concentration would be 0 0.999. So we put that into our formula. Minus log of 0 0.999. And you would get the result. So that's your answer. And if you type it into your calculator, you get the actual value. So if we have, in the first example, we just had our hydrogen ion concentration given, and we <coughs> calculated, uh, we wanted to calculate our hydrogen ion concentration, or we were given the pH, so we use this formula. In this example, we were given the amounts of hydrochloric acid, which is strong acid, and the amounts of sodium hydroxide, which was a strong base. And what we had to do is we had to basically minus the amount of strong base from the amount of strong acid we have. That would give us our that gave us our hydrogen concentration, with hydrogen ion concentration, which was 0 0.999. And once we've done that, we can put that value into our pH equation to get our actual pH. So you should know how to actually do both of these kind of calculations. Because there are some HC questions that ask you to basically remove a few because they've added a bit of sodium hydroxide. And it, we actually cover more of that in the next chapter as well. It'll come again, so don't worry about it, but it'll come again as well. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.